All right. Um, well, um, I guess uh, welcome to Occupy Melbourne. Just like to extend our warm um, greetings to you all, like as a media team and as an occupation. Thank you so much for dropping by. Dylan, I must ask, as someone who has a 30 year history of dissent, you've seen social movements over that time period. What do you think is, well, what do you, do you think that the occupation movement is different and how so? Right now, it's more of an uprising than a movement. It's an expression of anger. In a way, it's a cry for help, basically. You know, that we don't like corporate dictatorship turning every country into a third world banana republic with very, very rich people and very, very poor people. Even the mere action of putting up tents in the middle of downtown where they want to put the big Christmas tree soon. It's, it's at the beginning. I don't think it's bad right now that there isn't really a formal agenda or demands. I think ultimately there may not be 100% consensus on everything or you're never going to get anything done. Um, all kinds of hardliners and, let's put it more politely, people who care passionately about different issues are already getting drawn to the Occupy movement like magnets. Some may even try to take it over, just as the Labor Party or the Democrats may try to take it over too. Hey, we're the only ones who can vote for who actually win. you got to trust us. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but uh, sorry, Obama, you may lose because of that very soon because you're too much like what's like Bush and the rest, but basic, basically I guess what I'm getting at with that is in order to get this out to more people, you know, my old saying, don't hate the media, become the media, it's not just blogs, it's not just the internet, it's one-on-one, -on -one, eye to eye with people with family, school, work, play, party, whatever, and even if they're spouting the worst kind of Howardoid Tea Party bullshit, you know, you can either tune them out, walk away, or you can at least try to reason with them and plant some seeds, even if they th tell you you're stupid, maybe they'll think about it. And sometimes it eventually changes people's minds. And also, I think what I was getting at is, if you come on too much like a more radical than thou fundamentalist preacher, you know, you're either uber vegan or you're the enemy, you know, you're not going to get enough friends, basically. Yeah. And even somebody who can't be as hardcore as to you know, like be here with the tent cities or whatever, but can come down occasionally or help or bring down some food or whatever you need, doing something is better than doing nothing. And what's also important with that is some people who really want to sustain this, and if you really want to get change out of this alone, some people may be here for years. How many people really want to be here for years? Some people may want their life back from time to time, and it's not betraying the movement or selling out if somebody needs to take some time away, recharge their batteries, and then come back and kick more ass. It shouldn't be like Cindy Sheehan, a major force in the anti-war Iraq war movement because her son was killed there and she went from conservative suburban mom to camping outside Bush's ranch demanding he talk to her about the death of her son and she drew all this support and was considered one of the leaders of the anti-war movement eventually people tugged her in so many different directions that she burned out and she put out a press release saying I'm resigning from the anti-war movement never should have come to yeah. And so then she walked away and then before long she was full of energy again and she came back. It shouldn't have come to a resignation. You shouldn't feel like you have to do that. It's more like tag team pro wrestling. You know, when one person's pinned down, you slap the other one. Then they come in and you go down and recharge, then you come in. So you need to rotate your, rotate your forces from time to time to avoid the inevitable burnout.